So in the last lecture, we derived some formula for the working of the transformer. Like induced EMF at the primary will be 4.44 N1 F phi M. Induced EMF in the secondary will be 4.44 N2 into F phi M. And voltage pattern will be 4.44 F phi M, which will be same at the primary and at the secondary. And the formula which will be guided is E1 by E2 will be equal to N1 by N2 will be equal to I2 by I1 that is we call alpha or trans ratio of the transformer. Now let us see how we can use this formula to design a transformer. Let us consider we want to design a 100 kVA single phase eleven KV by two forty volt. We want to design a hundred KVA single phase eleven KV by two forty volt transformer. with maximum flux density say 1.3 weaver per meter square and area of the core say 360 centimeter square. This is our, our transformer we will be designing. Now what to, what to find out in the design? We will have to find out how many turns will be required in the primary and in the secondary. How much current will be flowing with this 100 kVA load at the primary and at the secondary. If we can find out that, then we can choose proper wire which will carry that much of current and then proper insulation which will be required. And also the size of the limb, how, how long, this is called the limb and these are called the limb, how long should be the limbs to accommodate that many number of turns. So that we can design from here. So, what is required is our flux density maximum will be 1.3 over per meter square. So, Bm that is the flux density maximum flux density is 1.3 over per meter square. So, what is flux? Our phi m then will be flux density in the area of the core. So, area of the core that means Bm into A. That means Bm is 1.3 into A. A is 360 centimeter square. So, I will have to transform it to meter square into 10 to the power minus 4. So, this will be my flux phi m. Now, I can find out how much voltage will be induced per turn, Et. So, what will be the Et? Et will be 4.44. Huh. This frequency is for all Indian condition, frequency is 50 hertz. That means 50 cycles per second. So, this will be 4.44 flux. That means 50 into 1.3 into 360 into 10 to the power minus 4. So, if we calculate it, you will find it will be around 10.4 volt. That means per turn 10.4 volt will be induced by this flux this flux which will be flux density 1.3 360 into 
10 to the power of 4 wave. So this much voltage will be induced. Now, then how many turns will be required? Say so secondary, the voltage is 240. So let us. So secondary voltage is 240. So number of turns in the secondary will be 240 volt divided by the voltage, per turn voltage, that is 10.4. That is coming 240 by 10.4. It will be coming around 240 divided by 10.4, which will be coming around 23, 23 turns. So in the secondary, we will have 23 turns. So in the primary, how much you will be having? So we can very well find out what will be N1. N1 will be 23 divided by the voltage 240 multiplied by the primary voltage that is 11 kV, 11 into 10 to the power 3. That means 11 kV, 11 into 10 to the power 3. This formula is coming from this formula. This N2 will be equal to E1, E2 by E1, N1, this N2 is there, N1 will be equal to N2 by E2 into E1. So with this formula, we will be getting this. So that will be equal to 23. Eleven divided by two forty. So it is coming one zero five four. One zero five four number of turns. That means that the primary will have required one zero five four number of turns. So now we'll have to find out how much current will be flowing in the primary and in the secondary. Our voltage KVA of this, KVA of this is 100 KVA. So KVA, this volt ampere is equal to voltage into current. So current will be equal to your volt ampere by voltage. So what is the volt ampere? 100 KVA, 100 into 10 to the power 3. Voltage is, in the primary side, voltage will be 240. So how much it will be coming? 100 by, by 240. So 4 uh, into 10 to the power 3. So it will be 416, 416.7 ampere. This is current in the secondary. Current in the primary will be 100 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 11 kV, 11 into 10 to the power 3. So it will be coming around 100 by 11, 9.09, 9.09 ampere. So you find that here you'll have to notice another important thing. When voltage is less, voltage is secondary 240, current is very high, 416 volt ka ampere. When this voltage is very high, 11 kV, current has come down to 9.09 .09 ampere. Now if you multiply the number of turns into this I2, that means current, that means that will give a very high. What is I2 N2? I2 N2 is N2 is 416.7 into what is the number of turns in the primary? Number of turns in the secondary we found out it was 23. So it is coming 416, 416.7 into 23 which is equal to 9584, 9584 ampere turns. So this is 9584 ampere turns. If you multiply the current I1 
with the number of turns there, that is 1054, you will find the same number of turns is coming. That means from this formula also you can find out I1 N1, I1 N1 is equal to I2 N2. That means ampere turns, ampere turns in primary is equal to ampere turns in the secondary. That means not only power and frequency, but also ampere turns, which is called MMF of the primary and MMF of the secondary, both are same. So now you can find out, we'll have, we can now design the transformer. We'll have to choose proper conductor, copper conductor, to carry this much of current and we will have to find, make the length of the core in such a way that it can accommodate 1054, 1054 number of turns at the primary and as a primary winding and 23 number of turns in the secondary winding. So now you can very well try other problems to find out the different design parameters of the transformer.